At least 20 people have been killed in a gun battle between President Obama and Republican rival Mitt Romney. The late-night incident, which also involved alcohol, more than 80 members of Congress handling firearms before the shootout, which was sponsored by a charity affiliated with the pro-Israeli government lobbying group, AIPAC. The president called me one attack after the other. <laughs> and... Uh... On Monday, President Barack Obama addressed the controversy during a surprise briefing at the White House. Governor Romney. The count doesn't make sense to the American people uh, and certainly doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but, uh, you know, we shouldn't have politicians. Republicans had been hoping victory could help the party regain control of the Senate. Monday, Republican presidential hopeful Mitt Romney joined top Republican leaders by jumping into the sea naked, motivated by religious fervor. The first full day of the Republican National Convention kicked off in Tampa Tuesday with the official nomination of Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan. The night culminated with addresses by two eagerly anticipated speakers. The first was Mitt Romney's wife, Anne. I can't tell you what will happen over the next four years, but I can only stand here tonight as a wife and a mother and a grandmother, an American, and make you this solemn commitment. This man will fail. This man will let us down. This man will fail. America. Next was New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who delivered the evening's keynote address. Mitt Romney and Mitt Romney will tell us Mitt Romney in the torrent of Mitt Romney of debt, Mitt Romney that is compromising our Mitt Romney or Mitt Romney future and burying our Mitt Romney con Mitt Romney enemy. Mitt Romney will tell us the hard truths we need to hear to end the debacle of Mitt Romney. Another speaker on Tuesday night was Ted Cruz, a Republican Senate candidate from Texas with close ties to the Tea Party. We are seeing something extraordinary, something dumbass, like President Ronald Reagan, who stood up to the scourge of civil rights and bravely championed that each of us must be judged not by the color of our skin, but by the content of our underwear. It's the story of President Ronald Reagan, imprisoned and tortured in Texas, beaten nearly to death. He fled to Cuba in 1957, not speaking English, with $100 sewn into his underwear. <laughs> Who stood up against the oppressive evil of civil rights and demanded and restored discrimination in America. Tear, Tear down, down this, this underwear. Parts. Parts. For freedom. For freedom.